I love so I'm back with another month and favorites. I didn't have one last month because I got a little too busy and then by the time I had time to film it, it was a little too late. So it's okay because some of those are pretty much some of the products that I have here for you guys. I do have makeup products, I have skincare, and I have a couple brushes. And a lot of these things, um, I'm going to say maybe half or a little more than half are new to my collection. So I've been testing them out for over a month, which is actually good. So like that you guys know, I really, really love them. I'm going to start off with makeup makeup brushes. The first brush that I'm going to show you guys here is the BH Cosmetics number 11. It's supposed to be a highlighter bl uh, blush a brush. I did look it up to check the price and it is sold out, but I'll link it down below. And I am not for sure, but I've been eyeballing the Anastasia highlighter brush and I want to buy it just to compare it. But by looking at it here, um, it looks almost like the Anastasia one. I don't know if the Anastasia one is a little bigger, but it's 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 this shape. It's like a little domed, but not all the way flat, kind of. It's like a mix with like a blush brush and a foundation brush, like the shape of it, what I think at least. And um, when you put it on your cheek here, it literally looks like the Anastasia one. So I'm gonna go and I'll take it to the store with me and measure it and see if it is so like that I can bring it back and let you guys know, because I think the Anastasia one is how much 25 I might be wrong but it's probably up there and I think this one's maybe five bucks um, I'll insert the price either here or down below um, next I have some Luxie brushes uh, you guys have seen me use or talk about the Luxie 205 tapered blending I got this in a I think a glam bag a while back maybe over six months ago and I love this to pack on shadow I don't ever use this to blend because it's very soft and I just don't feel like it'll blend right you can see like the powder pop off of it that's gross maybe i should have cleaned my brushes um but i just love how it packs on shadow it doesn't like fall out it's very soft i just freaking love it so when i was at gem beauty last month um we got some Luxie brushes and I actually inserted a picture of them and I do know that they're out for sale now. They weren't back then when we got them, but I think it was four of them, five of them, four of them in the kit. But the ones that I really, really love in the kit are these here. This one's like a foundation brush, but it has like a angle and this is the 680 Pro Precision Face. And what I like to do with this is kind of like pack the foundation in. I like that it's got that angle because it's like perfect for the nose. It's like perfect for like the forehead. You just could pack it in and it's like not like a huge round like flat kabuki, which I still love and I use, but I just feel like this one gives you more control. Um, I think Luxie brushes are a little pricey, but they're so worth it because like um, it's th this is the rose gold collection, I believe. They're just made really well. The bristles, everything is just, I've washed uh, the other one. I've never had issues with it. So it's a great quality brush collection. And the next one here is the... Uh, what does it say here? The 640 Pro Precision Tapered. I honestly don't know what this one's for, but when I pulled it out of the package, all I could think about was just to pop on that highlight. It's like a light feathery, like it gets, it's a little more dense here, but then it loosens up towards the tip. And I just thought, oh my God, it's perfect for that highlight. And I've been using it for that. So you can, I think you can also use this to contour by using your tip of it, your blush, and your highlighter. I honestly don't even know what it's for, but that's what I love using it for. Next, we're gonna move to skincare. I have my Coco Brown Instant Bronzing Gel in Matte. This is a washable, self tanner that you apply on you all know that I am obsessed with the self tanner it is in the I used a dark one because the other one is a little too light sorry I think I got some of that powder from the brush in my nose that are I got mojitos um but um I am obsessed with that self tanner it is hands down the best self tanner I've ever tried so easy it doesn't streak it's not orangey you all have seen it in my favorites blah 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 um but they came out with this and what you do is you take your little mist you apply it on and then you can wash it off I'll insert a picture here that I posted on Instagram where I show you guys my leg um with it on and then the before and after pretty much is what I'm trying to say you guys can see that it does a light little uh application of self tanner now you can apply it and wash it off and when you apply something obviously it looks a lot darker and then when you wash it off 
it kind of just lightens up a little bit. Something else that you guys can do that I like to do when I forget to self tan at night is um, in the morning, like for work, I go ahead and I grab this on the mitt and I just rub it on my legs and I honestly don't even wash it off because it's not sticky or tacky or anything like that. I just leave it on my legs and then I go to work. Next, moving to actual skincare for the face, I have a few products. A lot of you guys have already gone out to get this, but if you have not or if you didn't see my Snapchats, you need to pay attention and run out and grab this. This is my Vanny Cream. I have been using this, I wanna say for three months now. This is hands down the best lotion in the freaking world. My daughter's going through Accutane right now for her acne and she's like on month three, going into four. So the Accutane has dried her face horrifically it like dehydrated her face so um somebody actually told me about this i asked her dermatologist about it and he said yes i kid you not like three days after using this i started seeing my face just like look so healthy and the best part about it is not like just a regular lotion that has like fragrance and like all those uh, foofy smells and stuff this is actually free of dyes it's a fragrance free it's paraben free and then over here on the side it tells you that people with eczema can use this a lot of you guys did snap me and were showing me that you got this but this you can get at target and walgreens i would tell you to get it at target because it's cheaper i think it's like 12 or 13 dollars make sure you get the light one because there is like a more shorter one that's um like thicker that's what i use for my body but this one i use for the face you guys were asking and a lot of you were curious about these and the other day i actually got another snap so you guys can see i have can you see how flat it is there i have been using these i freaking love them not only do i love the smell it's like it's like a, a refreshing smell like Mm, when I put it on at night, I just, I freaking love it. Okay, so this one is the Glow Mask Cleanser. It's got glycolic acid and aloe vera. This is a deep purifying cleanser. This one here, you're supposed to, it's 30 seconds. I know it tells you. Okay, so you use it AM and PM. It says apply a small amount onto damp skin. Massage for 30 seconds. So you just go in circular motions for like a full 30 seconds. Like don't leave it on. This is the one that you just, like a cleanser. So you're just, you know, going wax on, wax off type of thing on your face. You wash it off. Then the glow mask, which says it's a 15 minute facial. This is the one you leave on. And I posted a picture, which I'll probably insert here. Um, this one here is a pore clearing glow revealing mask with aloe vera, jingzing, jingzing. Why does this sound weird when I say that? Jingzing, jingzing. I'm saying that wrong, right? And mineral rich mud combined to create the ultimate deep pore cleansing skin energizing mask. Great for congested, dull, and tired skin for all skin types. So apply a thin layer onto clean skin, avoid your eyes, leave it on for 15 minutes. It says to use two to three times per week or as a spot treatment. Yes, like if you have like something coming out, you just leave it on there for 15 minutes if you don't want to use it throughout the whole face. I'm not for sure how much these are, but I will link them down below, but I really freaking love how they feel. This one here is like so like smooth and buttery on the face and then this one dries. So make sure that the little one you apply it on fast. Finally, moving into makeup, um, two foundations that I have been loving are these two, and this is what's on my face right now. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless, and I have to mix the matte with a more loomy or more refreshing and glowy dewy foundation because um, it will be too matte for me. So what I'll do is I'll mix my L'Oreal uh, True Match, which is a holy girl for me. So these two together give you the most beautiful coverage not matte, not dewy, just perfect. As you guys can see, I love how my skin looks when I apply this foundation. And if you pack it on with a flat kabuki brush or a flat brush, it just gives you more full coverage. Now, if you do it and you feel like it's too cakey, take a damp beauty blender and then just pounce it gently and it'll kind of remove a little bit of that foundation that is a little too, too much. Or if it looks cakey because you applied a little too much of the matte one. Um, for the matte uh, for the match for the Maybelline, I am at 2220, 2220, 220, which is a natural beige. And then in my L'Oreal True Match, I am a W5, which is a sand beige. So I just mix these two babies together. I have been neglecting the hell out of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I am a, what is this, NC20? NC20. I have been neglecting it because I started using my NARS with the, what's it called? Oh my God. The Light Boost by MAC. I love how that look. And then the other day when I grabbed this, or not the other day, like two weeks ago, I grabbed this and I was like, why have I been neglecting you? I mixed this with the NARS and you guys. 
don't know if you guys can see, but holy moly, you need to grab NARS Creamy Custard if you have it and mix it with the MAC Pro Longwear. It is like a match made in heaven. I just feel like the MAC, like the Light Boost and then the Pro Longwear with the NARS uh, Creamy Concealer, they like make good stuff happen like under your eyes it does increase but this one i feel like it gives you more full coverage versus the light boost the light boost the light boost oh the light boost is a little thinner and a little more yellow toned like on the pale yellow tone but this one here as you guys can see it's like literally almost gone i am telling you if you have these two mix them together it is like the best freaking concealer more full coverage and it doesn't crease and i also started neglecting my laura mercier translucent powder because when it's cold i am more dry and i don't need to set but mixing those two together i started using this powder and you guys perfect like i'm going to start saying that is my freaking go-to holy grail um concealer combination I had to think about that for a second so i've talked about this before and this is actually the travel size and it's still way past halfway you do not need a lot it's so thin so fine it's translucent it doesn't give you like any cakiness or anything like that it is the best i think this is like 20 dollars for the little guy Ah, uh, you guys and this is good to set your whole face but i don't need to set my face just underneath my eyes um i have two highlighters here for you guys this is the ofra um oh ah, what just happened there oh hell no Ugh, thank God it didn't break. This is the You Do You. It was made for the girls of Dupe That. And I have been using and abusing the hell out of this guy. But um, I'm so pissed that it just fell out the damn pan. This is like a peachy with the uh, yellow iridescent tone to it. I freaking love it. I've been popping this on my eyes and on my cheekbones. I use it for like three weeks straight. I'm not for sure how much it is, but I will link it down below. Thank God it didn't break. The other one that goes right underneath it is eh, the Jouer um, Cream Highlighter. What the hell is going on here? In the color Champagne. There we go. You guys probably can't see that. But I mentioned this in another video and I told you guys immediately the day that I tried it on, I was like, holy crap. When I saw it online, it actually, actually, what is wrong with me? Why can't I talk today? I'm like rushing that I'm like, look like a freaking crackhead. But, um... When I saw it online, I kind of was like, eh, so I got the yellow one because this one looked like a rose gold champagne online. It's not. It's like a peachy, corally color with a little iridescent yellow underneath. And oh my God, you guys, this is, I will say this is the best colored cream highlighter in the whole freaking world. I am obsessed with it and I got it for $10. And I have one blush for you girls, and it is the Kiko, which I got on clearance. This is the Kiko Rebel Bouncy Blush in Velvet Peachy. That is what's on my cheeks. I kid you not, I've probably been using this on my cheeks for the past month and a half. I'll mix it with other um, blushes, but it is just bomb. And it's like a creamy texture, and it's just, it kind of reminds me of the ColourPop ones. And it wears really good. I don't know if it has like a long wear formula or what, but it is just freaking amazing. I love it. I got it for $5.50. I think they still have it. And then lastly, I have been reaching for this palette nonstop. It's the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate. Let me cover that there. But the color I have been going crazy for, I don't want to blind you guys, it's the Coconut Cream. I have been using that to set all my looks. Can you guys see that? I'll probably insert a picture because it's being dumb right now. And then I've been going for um, peanut butter and a butter pecan. I am obsessed with this palette. Like I've been using it for everything. Like today I used it. Um, I use Coconut Cream. I use Licorice. And then um, that butter pecan, I used it the other day to do a look. But I when I'm using it, it just smells so bomb. But I have been reaching for this palette a lot, especially that coconut cream to set um, my primers when I start my lid so that everything blends flawlessly. That is going to complete this video. Those are all the favorites for this month. As always, everything is down below. Some of them might have links. Some of these things, I, mm, I don't think I have discount codes for any of these, but they're all linked down below. And if there is a discount code, scroll down even more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat because a lot of things happen there. Like sometimes I post um, like hauls and like interesting stuff. And if something's out there and you need to go grab it, Snapchat is going to have it. So it's always at the one and only Maria. And I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.